If you like your beers to be obscure, smoky, and difficult to pronounce, well, I got you covered. Hello, my name is Martin Keane. I'm taking the homebrew challenge to brew 99 beers in 99 weeks. Today, I'm brewing Lichtenhainer, which is a sour, smoked German wheat beer. You know, I think this is one of those beers that you, you brew for the exclusive reason of impressing your friends. Hey, what do you got on tap today? Well, actually, I've just brewed up my latest batch of Lichtenhainer. I think it's one of my best yet. Just got that sourness to smoke ratio just right. Oh, it definitely does smell a little bit smoky. That's the smoked wheat that's in there. This is bringing back memories. So smoked beers, why? Why? I figure if we're gonna do this, let's go all in. So I've gone 95% smoked malt. Specifically, uh, that is cherry wood, smoked malt, 10 pounds of this. It's not overpowering, but it's, uh, it's smoky. I'll be mashing this one at 152 Fahrenheit, 67 Celsius. I do enjoy reading the comments section in the BJCP guidelines for these styles. This one has two comments for Lichtenhainer. One is it's served young, so a bit like Keller beer. Second comment is it's smoke and sour is a combination that is not for everyone. So let's talk a little bit about how to make one of these beers. Now, the original gravity for this beer is 1038, so about a 3.8% beer. So, quite a light beer, at least in terms of alcohol. Now, the characteristic ingredient that you need in this beer style is oak smoked wheat, and that makes up 40% of my grist. I have another 40% of two row German Pilsner, and then the remaining 20% is made up of Munich malt. Lichtenhainer is a beer with its origins in the region of, not too surprisingly, Lichtenhain, Germany, near Dresden. It was most popular during the end of the 19th century. Outside of a few brew pubs, you'll struggle to find any commercial examples today. A uh, recipe going back to 1915 describes the beer as weakly soured from lactic acid bacteria and only very lightly hopped. The mash is done and it's time to move on to the souring portion of this brew day. Now, what I did was once the mash was complete, I removed the grains and then brought this wort up to a boil. I've seen varying guidance on what to do here. I've seen some people say that you can just bring this up to sort of 170, 180 Fahrenheit and pasteurize it. Um, and I've seen other people say you should bring it to a boil so that you're not risking any infection. I ended up bringing this to a boil and kept it at a boil for 15 minutes. At that point, I then chilled the wort down to about 95 Fahrenheit or 35 Celsius. I'm just a few degrees above that right now. So it's now time to do the souring. For that, I have a trusty packet of lactobacillus. This is Y-East 5335. Now, brewer's yeast, that produces alcohol. Lactobacillus, this produces lactic acid. Now you could take this lactobacillus and put it in the fermenter with the finished beer along with your yeast at the end. I prefer though to sour my beers in the kettle. I like kettle souring because it means it will keep the bacteria out of the fermenter and just within here. I'm just worried about some sort of infections with later beers. So my kettle souring process. What I did was I used lactic acid to get the pH of this mash down all the way 
to 4.5. So I just added a little bit of lactic acid, took a pH reading, added a bit more and so forth. Ended up getting it to 4.4, close enough. So with that in place, I can now add in my lactobacillus into this wort. That should go to work now and start souring this beer further. I'm going to leave this at 95 degrees. I've just left my heating element on. Just gonna close up this top here. We don't have any extra oxygen getting in. Um, I'm just gonna keep an eye on this. I think I'm gonna leave it for about three days. And once the pH drops into the threes, so like 3.7, 3.8, something like that, then I'll move on to the next stage. Just check my pH, it's been two and a half days since the mash and I'm already at 3.6. So I'm gonna cut this off here and I'm bringing this up to a boil that will kill off the lactobacillus and prevent any further souring. And it now gives me an opportunity to add my hops not much in the way of hops in this. I'm going for eight IBU of bitterness and I'm getting that through SARS hops. Also, this is going to be a really short boil, just 15 minutes. It must be said that that really quite distinct smoky smell that I had during the mash is, is not so present anymore. It's definitely been replaced by a bit of that funk of the souring. So it's gonna be interesting when it comes to tasting to see if this beer is more sour or more smoky. Anyway, it's time to add the yeast. And for this, I am adding German ale. This is Y Yeast 1007. I'm gonna ferment this one at 68 Fahrenheit or 20 Celsius. So that's it, gonna let the yeast do its thing. Let's get the tasting. has arrived. Mm -hmm. Built this one up last week. So smoky and sour. I don't know how this is going to turn out at all. Mm -hmm. I'm, kind of, I'm kind of scared. <laughs> Pretty curious myself. So okay so first of all the appearance looks very innocent. Yeah it doesn't look like we're about to have our taste buds shocked at all. <laughs> <laughs> okay let's see if we get any smoke on the aroma. You smell smoke? Yeah, I do. I smell smoke. I don't. You don't? No. I mean, nothing like the uh, the Raj beer. Yeah, see, that's what the thing is. I was like building up to it. It's going to be like that again. Let's try it. Let's give it a try. It All like. right. <laughs> oh, pucker. It's not even the pucker, it's I could taste a little bit smokiness that came through. Oh, this is uh, this is as advertised. It is got a little bit of pucker to it and it's very smoky, right? I just gagged on camera. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Are you okay? It makes me upset. It makes you upset. <laughs> Why does it make you upset? Because I'm really liking the sour beers recently and sour you did the passion fruit was like absolutely delicious and it's like I want to drink this, but I know my body's not going to let me. <laughs> Be because of the smoke. Because of the smokiness. Now, it's a lot better smokiness wise than the last sour uh, smoky you did. Yes. Because that was just the whole bottle of smoke. Yes. Whereas this is a lot more subtle. So I could see how somebody would like it if they're into like smoky ish beers sort of thing. Well, on that note, um, Thanks for the beer. Oh, you're welcome. Would you like some more? <laughs> uh, maybe later. Uh, so next week, Martin has a pretty fun beer coming up, which happens to be a 
just outside of where I'm from, maybe an hour's drive. And until next week. Cheers. Cheers. You gotta drink some now. I will. <laughs> <laughs>